Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with John Oliver. Hello. I always, uh, I always think about you. Uh, you have been very critical, rightfully so, uh, of FIFA over yes, the years. Yes, because it's, um, uh, it's basically a criminal cartel that yeah. stages a tournament every four years. Yeah, there's a perfect example of what I was just doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, they basically just stepped up and did as right a yes. thing as they are uh, likely to do. It is kind of amazing. If you have lost the moral high ground as a country to FIFA, yeah. <laughs> you are morally subterranean because they will try every possible angle to do the wrong thing. And if they couldn't find that and they ended up kicking them out, things are bad. Yeah. It, and they did try to do the yeah. uh, the, oh, the wrong version of the right thing. That's the best move, saying, yeah, you can compete, but just not as Russia. Yeah. And you, you, gotta, you gotta change your names and you gotta wear fake mustaches. <laughs> So that, that'll teach you, right? That'll teach you. It, it, what it, it's always like, but it's not change your name to like the Grasshoppers, which would be fun. Right. Like it's always like the, the Federation of Russian that, Athletes or something, yeah. That's right, that's right. Exactly, the, the team formerly known as the <laughs> Russian football team. But also you just cannot let FIFA occupy any kind of morality here because they are banning Russia from the World Cup in Qatar. Yeah. <laughs> which is basically built on blood, so. <laughs> Yeah, FIFA, are, in the macro sense, are still continuing to do the wrong thing and will until the end of their existence. And yet, I mean, we kn I know this because we text a lot during international uh, yeah. uh, football. I'm going to say football because you're here. Yeah. Uh, football and competition. I appreciate that. No worries. I want you to feel comfortable. I don't want you to be like, what? <laughs> you're, a, you're a great host. <laughs> you will still... How invested will you be in uh, the World Cup? It's so, it's, you know, it just gets to the fundamental flaw of you as a human being. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean me, but also yeah, you. Yeah, also me, yeah. Because, you know, you, you, you cannot defend the fact that the World Cup is happening in Qatar. And I am gonna watch it. Yeah. And I am going to criticize it before and after. Yeah. And who knows during. Yeah. But I am gonna watch it. <laughs> and what does that make me? It's some version of a kind of lower H hypocrite. <laughs> It is lower it, H, yeah, it, I yeah, think. Lower yeah, lower H, lower yeah. H, not capital H. Yeah, no, I would never say that of you. <laughs> yeah, that's that the thing. I, I love the product they make yeah. so much, just like drug cartels make a very fine cocaine. <laughs> that's very nice you say. Nobody ever says that about that the, the drug cartels. That's like, what they hey, do. let's not forget they, that they they're making very good cocaine. The Sinaloa, yeah. I cannot say this enough, and um, this isn't sponsored content. The Sinaloa <laughs> cartel <laughs> makes some of, if not yeah. the best, cocaine <laughs> around. If you're not taking <laughs> Sinaloa cocaine... Oh, now, I will say this is starting to sound like an ad, but I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like this very, like, written, like, marketing speak. That's right, I think that's, that, that is the secret of lots of late-night shows, and you know, people do often come on with something to sell. For me, unfortunately, <laughs> it is the fact <laughs> that the Sinaloa cartel... Okay. I, even... Even as I'm doing this bit, I'm realizing there are other cartels who might not find this quite as yeah. funny. So... <laughs> I just, I just like... And that's the problem. I get too relaxed on this show. Yeah. And I either, I either imply that the coronavirus is not going to be a big deal yeah. in New York, or I start saying, for some reason, that the Sinaloa cartel... Yeah. <laughs> I just... What I like to picture right now, as this airs... Yes. There's yeah. a, a rival cartel, and they're having whatever kind of meeting they have in a... There's, like, two cheetahs and whatnot. Yes. And they're having the yes. meeting, yes. and there's a TV on in the corner, and this yes. is on. And then all of a sudden, you know, the, the head of the cartel... That's right. And, and be before this moment's gone on, they've been talking about, do you think Wally's getting a little <laughs> bit too much screen time? And the head of the cartel is like, no, he respects Wally. That's right. He respects no, no. what he's doing. That's right. He wants power. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to do anything he but takes right to get now, it. they're saying, turn it up. <laughs> they're like, because it's on in the background, yes. and, they, and then now they're going yeah, on. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> the Sinaloa. <laughs> <laughs> this is very. We've really stepped in it. I feel like. I'll we'll get out of it. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What's What's the worst that can happen? Oh. <laughs> you um. And I... that's the gift that people will use in the future. <laughs> when someone gets a little bit too confident about something and it blows up in their face. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? 
This is good, though, because I feel like this is erasing our interview from two years ago. Like, now this is more interesting. Than everybody. You've yeah. got to keep it fresh. Nobody's like, got to look back, and yeah, they're going to be like, fresh. they stepped in it freshly. <laughs> you, um, you actually went, uh, right after uh, Crimea, Yes. Uh, you went to interview uh, Snowden. I did. And uh, which I imagine was tense in its own right, but even more so because of the annexation. It was actually, to, and to the extent that we got there, we were we hadn't told anyone, our fixer or our crew, who we were there to interview because we were keeping it all very. See, we hadn't told HBO either. Um, uh, so we were keeping it all very, very. What did HBO think you were doing? Uh, they <laughs> didn't. They thought. I think they thought I was in New York preparing for the show. Okay, gotcha. Whereas, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> I'm in Russia. <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, we, yeah, we got there and it was very, very tense. And uh, we were clearly, very obviously being watched. They were not, the Russians were not making, it wasn't, there was no subterfuge going on. They were yeah. very obviously following us. And uh, our fixer was really, really worried. And then when we eventually said just before we were gonna do the interview, actually it's Snowden, it was immediate relaxation in the room and from the fixer. So, oh, that's okay, that's fine. You can talk about that. I thought you were just gonna talk about the other thing. And then he wouldn't even say the word. He wouldn't even say Crimea. He wouldn't even say Crimea because I think he knew that we'd been listened to. So he just said, "I thought if it's if you're not talking about the other thing, this will be okay." And everything calmed down. But it was very, very tense. I would imagine. And you, uh, and then 2017, you did a piece about Putin. Uh, yes. And yes. you, I, I'm assuming you do you reach out, like for comment? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We had a list of questions. <laughs> Vladimir, can you just get back to us on this? Because if you have a response, we'd love to build the response into the body of the script, if that's okay. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember if we, we, maybe as a courtesy, we reached out to the Kremlin. Yeah. Um, they but, respect that. They that's love, right. Yeah. I think, I, I do think he would have some queries with what we said. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, we, we, the only thing we really did was, before it went on was, uh, was really jack up our uh, cyber security. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah. Have you done that yet? Because the Sinaloa cartel may be... <laughs> Are they good at that? Are they, do they have a good tech guy? <laughs> Seth, I can't say this enough. They're good at everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a hashtag ad. John Oliver, everybody. Last week tonight airs Sunday nights on HBO and streams on HBO Max.